the epistle of Ignatius to the Romans. I write to all the churches, and I bid all men know that of my own free will I die for God, unless ye should hinder me. I exhort you, be ye not in unseasonable kindness to me. Let me be given to the wild beasts, for through them I can attain unto God. I am God's wheat, and I am ground by the teeth of wild beasts, that I may be found pure bread of Christ. Rather entice the wild beasts, that they may become my sepulchre, and may leave no part of my body behind, so that I may not, when I am fallen asleep, be burdensome to anyone. Then shall I be truly a disciple of Jesus Christ, when the world shall not so much as see my body. Supplicate the Lord for me, that through these instruments I may be found a sacrifice to God. I do not enjoin you, as Peter and Paul did. They were apostles. I am a convict. They were free. But I am a slave to this very hour. Yet, if I shall suffer, then am I a freed man of Jesus Christ, and I shall rise free in him. Now I am learning in my bonds to put away every desire. May I have joy of the beasts that have been prepared for me, and I pray that I may find them prompt. Nay, I will entice them that they may devour me promptly, not as they have done to some refusing to touch them through fear, yea, though of themselves they should not be willing while I am ready, I myself will force them to it. Bear with me, I know what is expedient for me. Now am I beginning to be a disciple. May not of things visible and things invisible envy me, that I may attain unto Jesus Christ. Come fire and cross, and grapplings with vile beasts, cuttings and manglings, wrenching of bones, hacking of limbs, crushings of my whole body, come cruel tortures of the devil to assail me. Only be it mine to attain unto Jesus Christ. The farthest bounds of the universe shall profit me nothing, neither the kingdoms of this world. It is good for me to die for Jesus Christ rather than to reign over the farthest bounds of the earth. Him I seek, who died on our behalf. Him I desire, who rose again for our sake. The pangs of a new birth are upon me. Suffer me to receive the pure light. When I am come thither, then shall I be a man. Permit me to be an imitator of the passion of my God. If any man hath him within himself, let him understand what I desire, and let him have fellow feeling with me. For he knoweth the things which straighten me. For I write to you in the midst of life, yet lusting after death. My lust hath been crucified, and there is no fire of material longing in me, but only water living and speaking in me, saying within me, Come to the Father. I have no delight in the food of corruption, or in the delights of this life. I desire the bread of God, which is the flesh of Christ, who was of the seed of David, and for a draught I desire his blood, which is love incorruptible. These things I write to you on the ninth before the Calends of September. Fare ye well unto the end, in the patient waiting for Jesus Christ.